Okay, it's 9.48 in the morning and my GPS is now telling me my arrival will be 4 p.m. So again, in the RV, I lose a lot of time to GPS. In the car, I make up a lot of time. <laughs> I can't remember what I said at the beginning. <laughs> I, I, I'm starting to think I got some timers or something. And and when you're RVing, uh, that doesn't help either. Because, you know, again, I don't show people, but I meet a lot of people. And with each new group of people you meet, you seem to have, like, the same canned response of this is who I am kind of thing when, when you tell each other a little bit about yourselves you know they people often see the cats either in the window or out in their tent so my standard uh, I never planned on cats one is ex-wife one is a rescue that got returned to me blah 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 you send you tend to say the same things over and over which at times makes me think I got some timers and then when I do the YouTube videos I know I repeat stuff all the time. I don't know. It's just life, I guess. I'm going to do a ramble later on. I'm going to try to formulate something in my brain. But basically, I think it'll be another long-winded way of saying life is short. It's finite. You don't even know when it's going to end. So, blah, blah, you know. But I am also very pleased. Oh, hold on, Eddie. Eddie's, Eddie's soldiering on, but he's he's been put through it a bit again on this trip. I should start wanting to go places with the smoothest roads in the world. Eddie would prefer that, but... Uh, beautiful places tend to have bad roads for me. We're going to carry on, carrying on. 63, 64 on the cruise. Awesome trip. Uh, I... I don't know if I started to because I started to say something and then I get distracted. Loving this cool weather. Just. And dude, you don't say nothing the whole time I'm not talking to you two. But as soon as I start talking, you got stuff to say, elf boy. Get back in your hole. <laughs> but uh, this cool weather is fantastic. I was going to leave yesterday and I couldn't sleep. So I'm like, all right stay another day there was a lot of well stay another day because nothing is planned out nothing I, I did reservations once and twice at Big Bay and then at um, Marquette I did them at Big Bay because I had to make myself leave Aunt Nog and I would just stay there too long when I looked at their website to see campsites, I saw that a really nice waterfront one was open, so I did it. And then I went to Marquette, and a weekend was coming up, and I was like, oh, this isn't going to be good. So I booked as much as I could, and then with hopes of being able to extend over the weekend, but I had to leave there, and then I went back. I did some back and forth, which I've probably already explained, or when I edit, I will most likely already have explained. That's enough for now. For me, and you will see a change in screen and then this idiot will keep talking. I'm really tempted to take 127, but I'm not gonna. I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. decision Eddie's doing well but again these roads have been tough on him he, uh, 
you'll need to go see a doctor again. It'll be more about that. Maybe in the editing process when I'm back. Because I'm not superstitious, but I still don't like jinxing shit. Alright, 75. to Eddie and Wargo. I feel like I've gone further than it says. It says I still got 387 miles to go. The clouds look cool. I'm going to do some time lapse. All right, all right. The video's too long as it is, and nobody wants to look at bug guts the whole time, so enough of this time lapse stuff everybody passing me I don't know if this has anything to do with the new governor but they're trying to fix the damn roads nope nope again not doing it I don't know if it's bad memory or it was so long ago that they hadn't started this yet <laughs> I always think the clouds look really cool, but again, I'm stopping myself. Next thing, find some gas. We're getting to that point. All right, YouTubers. Filled Eddie's tank and drained another one. <laughs> and, uh, off we go. Should get us back to Ohio. All right, Ben, you can stay on that cooler as long as you like, dude. I got a feeling once I try to make this turn. Here we go. Let me take the ramp right. Alright, that's enough of that. Got go go juice and we will go go. See that camper's got the same Formosa cover on a bike and it's flapping all around. I think the cargo net helps a lot. Uh, I'm doing 70, I need to slow down. We got past this truck, I'm gonna get out of the way. Yeah, it's, it's half off there. Might not fit the whole two bikes the way it looks. This is uh, 23, 75 and 23 split off, and then they join back together. And it's been fun. That's sarcasm. <laughs> oh, also, the saga of me losing time to the GPS. It is 12.38, and my GPS says I'm going to arrive at 4.49 now. Do what you can, 63, 64. Oh, and it looks like we will be stopping. You can change lanes all you want, brother. Ain't nowhere to go. Everybody's taking this road, but I don't know where it takes me. That's my one complaint about GPS. I should probably do it and just follow everybody. This is always because you lose a lane and people can't work together. They want to get up as far as they can and then they bring everything to a screeching halt. And I mean, I, I've done it too. But if everybody could just like cooperate, one in, one in, one, you know, just leave in, it would be fine. Because there's somebody going slow in the left lane because they're losing their lane trying to get over and there will be a bunch of people come flying up wanting to get that last foot past two cars you know and everybody's got to stop all right that's a construction zone they're not fun but you got to make the roads better see and once you get into it you can move it's that getting into it which everybody who's driven understands you already know this stuff all that was to repair a guardrail but you know somebody makes a mistake hits a guardrail people got to come fix it staying on 23 south bumps come on be nice road and he's got a bad ankle it is 1 
434 saying I'm gonna arrive at 444 all right you can see it on the left welcome back to Ohio Ohio find it here that's that's their new thing Here, what are you gonna find? I live in Ohio. I don't have a lot of great things to say about Ohio. Go Bucks, OH, after that, I don't have too much for you. Alright, we're chugging along and he's doing well. Probably ramble in a while. Being fair, there's a lot of nice places in Ohio. Um, Cedar Point, then there's nature. Alright, Dayton. Way to go for it. My old saying has always been Ohio's a tank of gas away from cool places. It is 2.30. Say I'm gonna arrive at 4.46. I've gone 145 miles on this tank and I'm still above three quarters. Which leads me to believe <laughs> my fuel gauge isn't working right because that's just not accurate. I wish it was. I wish I got that kind of miles per gallon, but I do not. I'm going 65 and a 70. They can have it. I'm out of the way. All right, I'll let this run for a minute or two. Why? It's nothing here. It's Ohio. It's three lanes. I will say this. There are a lot of truck drivers that are not as good as truck drivers used to be. There's still good ones out there, but there's a lot of truck drivers that are just not good. They drive like too many people drive their car. They don't see anything ahead. They don't plan. I wasn't recording, but just, just bad truck driving. All right, I might ramble. God, I came out of that construction zone. If the, if the ceiling wasn't six foot three, my head would have hit it. The cat left my lap. You can't do that. You know, shut up, elf boy. You can't do a construction zone and have a bounce like that. Jesus. Eddie's still going. Good boy, Eddie. The stuff they put our vehicles through is just insane. All right, I've calmed down a little bit after that bump. With my suspension stuff, I half expect, expected something to break, and I don't even like to say stuff out loud. I don't like jinx shit. But we made it. Um, so, on a happier note than roads, because most of them have been good other than, I don't know where you think that's a way to transition, but anyways, right shoulder. So my trip that was three trips ago was a great trip. My trip that was two trips ago was a great trip. And guess what? This was a great trip too. This, I really enjoyed this one. Like I said, almost seven weeks, I think. I think we're pretty close to seven weeks. And uh, I'm sitting here thinking on the way back, you know. I don't have anything profound to say, sorry. I don't think I ever do. I mean, life's not that complicated. Try to have fun. Treat people right. Try to have fun. Pay your bills. <laughs> or carry credit card debt. Do what you want. But... As I said, I was thinking coming back, uh, I could do that again. I could definitely do the west coast of Superior in Canada again. Because the west coast of Superior is my favorite in the UP. And it is in, the, in Canada as well. It's just a little bit more rocky. It's a little bit more rugged. Not that the whole thing. I mean, it's beautiful. Lake Superior, get you gloomy. It's, it's 
It's an inland ocean. No sharks, no salt. Other than that, it's a friggin' ocean. But if you can, if you're looking for places to go, I try to show it to you. And I, I don't think you couldn't have a great time doing something similar to what I did. It's pretty awesome. Alright, I ran out of thinking. I'll think some more maybe. I'm under 100 miles. I'm not holding anybody up, but road crews, do the slow lanes first. <laughs> There's a bunch of ribbons, so I'm trying to ride on the smoother section. There's a guy in a Silverado towing, well, I assume it's a guy, towing a trailer that has been right behind me, following me. I've been his rabbit for like 100 miles. If you just heard a weird noise in that update, <laughs> I freaked out for a second. It was my, uh, I had the radio on but turned down and it was static. And I was like, what the hell's that noise? <laughs> when you drive something 20 years old, you start hearing things. Oh. Alright. Now. Getting close now. It is... 415 GPS is telling me 453 so I think my guess was pretty close oh stay together Edward Eduardo he's a tank he's a wounded tank but he's a tank that guy's still behind me I'm getting ready to turn in a couple miles onto another road we'll see if he's there too Vincent Vincenzo Kate still snoring <laughs> You'll sleep good at night, won't you, man? Cats are not used to being awake that long Eddie, you'll sleep well too, won't you? Rest your sore ankle So some in this awesome oop. I guess we're not on cruise. Hold on, Eddie, just a few more miles, man. Oh. Alright, now cruise. I'm going to speed limit, dude. You can go around. I'm in the slow lane going to speed limit. You can go around. So summing it up, another awesome trip. Canada was spectacular. There are provincial parks. In my opinion, kick the butt of American parks, state and national. Just so clean, everybody's so friendly. I mean, Canadians have a reputation of being friendly for a reason. They're friggin' friendly. You know? I, I, I don't think I met any that weren't. And they seem to value beautiful nature in Canada. Less trash. I saw less trash around. And just good facilities. As I said earlier in the ramble and possibly previous videos, because as I say, some timers gets me. Um, I could see me doing it again. And, and I, I would recommend anybody that wants to travel and see some beautiful nature, do a loop of... Uh, Lake Superior. Sorry, I was waiting for a result from that bump. Um, I did, I think it was 16 days I was in Canada, and like I said, I was gone seven weeks, and uh, I'm at the point where I just uploaded videos where I made it back to America. <laughs> so it takes a long time. And on that note, there's a chance my next trip might not be YouTube. There's a chance I might take a hiatus. I don't think I'm going to quit. But it really takes a lot of my time and effort. And 
I don't do anything different, I don't think, because I'm doing YouTube videos. You know, sometimes people say they could be a little bit more professional. I'm doing what I do, then I'm doing videos. I'm not, I'm not going places to do videos. I'm going places to go places, and I happen to do videos. But um, as I say that, you know, I might take the little hiatus thing. By the time this gets edited and posted, <laughs> I might have done another trip already, and and not feel a need for a hiatus or whatever you want to call. Because I do enjoy doing the videos, and I obviously don't do them to make a lot of money. I don't but I really appreciate the select group of people that that enjoy the way I do it again I know it's not popular I know it's not what I could do if I just wanted to get a lot of views but I'm just not into that the only regret I had was um I don't ever do tours of other people's RVs and I looked at a couple other RVs that I liked that I, I should have asked but I, I don't know I just I usually don't feel like doing that I feel like being more in the moment and appreciating it and and not making it into that but maybe one of these days I'll do one so that said I'm gonna say have a great and wonderful day and any thoughts that are still in my head maybe I'll backtrack and put them in the editing but I hope you enjoyed this trip of Canada and the UP, and I hope you do it yourself one day. You'll have a great and wonderful day. All right, YouTubers. I made it back five minutes to five, so I did all right. Um, Most of the important stuff, the cats are unloaded, the food pasties are in the freezer in the house, so all's good. Um, I just wanted to close by saying I had a great trip. I hope those of you that watched any of the videos liked it. If you're just catching this last recap kind of thing, go check some of the videos. They're places you would probably really enjoy going if you get the opportunity. Um, I've shown that I love the UP and Wisconsin and, and Minnesota are really nice. I like those too. And Canada was just fantastic. So uh, if you get the opportunity, get yourself in a car with a tent and an RV, a big class A, a little van, whatever you got and, and go check some stuff out you'll you'll really enjoy it because it'll help you have a great and wonderful day the goal there was corny i think i made it <laughs>